the Salvatore Dali. No, Salvador Mundi. That's the one, uh, the depiction of Jesus Christ, the long lost painting that was the, found and then sold to a Dubian the prince. The fuck does this have to do with Oppenheimer's sex scene? Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> best friends yep welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome 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 back to significant brothers the number one podcast of the number one podcasts I am Leandro Villar. This is my uh, healthy steed, Abelardo Muniz. And Hello! Behind, behind the camera, there's our beautiful guy, Jack-Jack. I'm pretty good. I'll be here. Looking. And now, <clears throat> I have become death. I am the destroyer of worlds. You, you become death? I am become Guys, tell me about that. Let me do it like it's in the movie. Wait, hold on. Read this. Uh, <laughs> read this. Uh, read this. What does this say? Right, how? Hold on. Jerk me off under the table while you while I do. Hold on. Uh, I. So, so, <laughs> I can you hear that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have. How? Hold on. <laughs> My hands all sweaty now. I have become death. No, you're saying it wrong. What? It's I am become death. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I am. I am. I am become death. Oh. I am or I am. I, I, I am. Jerk me, uh -oh. Jerk me off again. Jerk me off again. I want that sound like. <laughs> like Look how hard he's holding it. <laughs> Dang, that was all, way more muffled. I am become death. I am become death. I, um, I am become death. How? I am destroyer of worlds. That's like the first guy who wrote um, it. <laughs> Landro, really how, how horny did you get knowing that they were reading the Bhagavad Gita? The Bhagavad the wow. box pretty wow the, fucking that, that was the much baklava gita. that was hotter than the actual sex scene to be honest the scene of what's her face in that other movie we were talking about um don't worry darling don't no motherfucker florence Pugh and don't worry no the one where that took place in montauk don't worry darling this guy i'm a murderer no him. hard feelings no hard no feelings hard what's her name again <laughs> jennifer, jennifer lawrence. lawrence jennifer lawrence's andrew, scene andrew feldman do it andrew barth feldman andrew barth feldman what i was right about that what yeah you were right i watched what that Andrew Barth Feldman. Who's that? He's a man in the movie. He's yeah, a he's the, the guy in that movie. Did you watch? He wrote that song. I didn't. No, no man oh, oh. from the eighties. I, I thought he was doing a cameo. So, what? Yeah, I thought he was doing a cameo. Oh, what's so? What? What? What about that guy? What is he in the movie? He's, uh, he's like the main guy. We've talked all about this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. I saw the Bhagavad Gita from Picture Perfect. Oh, so yeah, so yeah, Picture Perfect. It, it, people were saying it was Adam like, Divine. <laughs> Picture perfect would be uh Ben, ben Plate. What's a what's a famous photographer? Uh I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyway, Oppenheimer. Great says movie. picture perfect. The the the, the painting. The who's painting a, is? Yeah. Mm. Who's a I don't think so. Isn't there a who's a the photographer Lieberman or something? I <coughs> Annie Lieberman. Listen, like could you see Anna Lieberwitz. Anna Lieberwitz? Yeah. Could you see the Mona Lisa also, in your house? You're speaking of Oppenheimer, can you see the Mona Lisa hanging in your house? What? In your house? Can you see it hanging in your fucking house, like on the wall? Can you see it? Can you picture it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Exactly. That's why it's not fucking picture perfect. Yeah, but I'm a broke ass house. That has nothing to do. What? That, that has everything to do with the Mona Lisa hanging up in my house. Nah. I don't even think it has a nice frame, right? Like it's a raggedy ass frame. No, it's, it's like, like a, a gold frame. Yeah, from it's the like a. Historic. And give me the other one, apparently, with her titties out. <laughs> Isn't? Oh, but wasn't it a that's man? That's the one that's in like the matte thing that you can find at Home Goods. Ooh, I want the Salvatore Mundi. The Salvatore Dali. No, Salvador Mundi. That's the one, uh, the depiction of Jesus Christ, the long lost painting that was the, found and then sold to a Dubian the prince. The fuck does this have to do with Oppenheimer's sex scene? Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like they were made around the same time period. Um, Oppenheimer and Jesus <laughs> and, <laughs> and the Mona Lisa, <laughs> the atomic, <laughs> the atomic bomb, and the Mona Lisa were before the inception right of flight. <laughs> we made the atomic bomb. <laughs> Fucking Sex. Lewis and Clark, Florence Pugh jerking him off to the Bacavagita. I'm not even kidding. During that no, scene, fucking I was singing. Of Leandro, oh. I I had to think of Leandro during that I scene. Think she was uh, jerking him off. Oh. I think she was back jerking him. Was she jerking him or was she fucking him? I think, I think it, she was on top of his chest. Maybe back just like a maybe just like a little bit a of rub, like a, like a pussy job. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it was a back jerk. Might have been all she three. Was, like, skiing. <laughs> I think she was skiing. No, skiing's with two penises. Yeah, well, that's insane. One. I've never I thought of that motion. Jerking off, <laughs> like 
Get some bitch doing this. Like, bitch, give me one of your holes right now. <laughs> Jerking me off. What are we in a massage shop? The fuck, Matt? Maybe you are. That's wild, bro. <laughs> you two next to each other and a person in the middle giving you a fucking. <laughs> they would not have to move that like, far up and down. I feel like that's so, you're, so you're getting, vicious. You're, right side. You're giving us a lot of, a yeah, lot of credit. So vicious. For, <laughs> yeah, like, for me and Leandro, it would be like. <laughs> like play the, <laughs> play play the drums. The drums. <laughs> yeah. Keep one on the snare, one on the hi hats. I'd rather be me and Landro on one standing. side. Me and Landro on one side, Jack in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Motor boating her. It's Travis Barker having a fucking seizure. She, she's eating your ass. So back to <laughs> what? <Oppenheimer. laughs> That's real adventurous. <laughs> That's Thailand shit the right there. The best segue pot of all time. Uh, the, the, the sex scene was trash. Fuck yeah. Trash. So what? No, I it heard, wasn't trash. I did not like Which it. one? The one in deposition or the Baka Vigita? I think as like... Well, first of all, the deposition one wasn't real, even though she looked way hotter in the deposition. Yeah. But uh, as an actress, she, her body isn't enough. Oh, she has some small I titties. I love Flo. No, small titties. You I love be Flo wrong. Uh, what? You I couldn't be more wrong. I love it. I am destruction. I am death. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So nah, Florence, her, Florence, Florence are fine. They're normal. Florence Pugh does she it for has me. She a very rectangular body. You have a very nice. No, Don't hold me to that, Lawrence Pugh, if I ever meet you. <laughs> Lawrence. Lawrence Pugh. What's her name? Sounds like a fucking lineman for the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like her shoulders are really broad. Uh, Justin Pugh. Justin she, has, Pugh. she had broad shoulders. How many people do you think have mistakenly jerk off to a picture of Justin Pugh? I don't, think I don't know who that is. Is that her brother? That's so, not a very mistakenly thing. <laughs> a lineman for the Giants. Oh, I think a lot of people have, like gay dudes. <laughs> A lot of gay dudes beating <laughs> off to Justin <laughs> Pugh. Yeah, okay. Do you think a lot of gay dudes like get Just off on athletes? I don't think Justin Pugh yeah. thought uh, yes. he'd get a chat. You think so? What's Hell that? yeah! You know how gay athletes are in the first place? Always shirtless What's and sweaty question? and shit. I said, do you think do you think uh, gay people get it off to athletes like often? Well, because it's a weird thing because it's like they don't like do how much do they care about Speaking sports? They give a fuck about the sport. They care about the slang and dick. Speaking as a gay who went the wrong way. <laughs> 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 that's, that's what, Dr. Seuss? Bio. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Ex-gay in the right way. <laughs> yeah. Abby's bio is like born gay but became straight. No long, I found Jesus. <laughs> born gay went straight. Uh, he didn't find Jesus, he just found Kayla. Yeah. Because, right, I feel like women wouldn't do that. I, I can see gay guys doing it. And you got to think. Athlete. I don't think gay people are into athletes. That's what I'm saying. Have you ever seen a gay guy throw a baseball that's not that's turning not them on? Oh, yeah. Are there gay baseball players right now in the league? I'm sure there's at least oh, one. A hundred. It's exactly one hundred? Mike, Mike Trout's gay. It's a big what is he? Shohei Otani's gay. What is he? They're baseball players. Gay for baseball. Would you feel uncomfortable? Julio Rodriguez. In that case, gay. Also, it's if a, you were in the locker room with a gay dude? That's like a big point of content. Jacob uh, DeGrom content. is gay. Who? Jacob DeGrom. I don't know. We've never heard of him. Um, it's a big point of contention because, like, uh, that's why there's uh, a lot of people say there aren't like many gay, openly gay athletes because oh, okay. the like tension it brings. Don't to the ask, don't tell. And the the there'd be a lot of skiing in the, the media. Room. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of skiing. You imagine you walk well, into the locker room after a game and Corey Seager is just fucking <laughs> doing this to Andres Eldris and Jacob Degrom, <laughs> Elvis Andres. That would give me PTSD. If I just got back from hitting a fucking grand slam and I come back and they're gr grand slamming <laughs> each other's cocks into so, their fucking yeah, walls, that's the thing too. Mom, like all the, all the athletes that have like come out mm -hmm. immediately, their friends. careers have like ended because. But what if you've been go. on a cold streak and you just need the coach to give you an old ski session? You're not in fucking coach. prison. You're a f you're a. Uh, uh, Fuck Division One. You're above that. Like you are God to most of these hoes. <laughs> but you, you are God to most of these hoes. You I'm can the find somebody. I'm the destroyer of baseball. You could definitely catch uh, 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 catch a Lawrence Pugh in this bitch. I am be I am become gay. Right? You, don't you think that the the ugliest real professional baseball player can still get a Lawrence Pugh? Not are you, actress. Are you still talking about Florence Pugh or are you are you Florence about Justin Pugh or Florence Pugh? Pugh. Y'all motherfuckers corrected me the first time. Well, I guess I did. You didn't say her name is actually Florence. You said Lawrence. You were like, oh, Lawrence Pugh. That sounds like a football player. <laughs> anyway. It's Florence Pugh. Anyway, Oppenheimer. <laughs> like, like not, yeah. not actress so back, level. So back to Oppenheimer, because okay. the people want to know what our thoughts are on Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ten months from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to expedite this episode. We're, uh, we're gonna, this is going to be out in time for Oppenheimer 2. Yeah, exactly. How? <laughs> what did you think was the best part of the movie? Probably the nuclear bomb part. <laughs> well, spoilers! <laughs> Did I kill two hundred thousand people? No, the test. Oh, phew. 
Well, I, uh, honestly, the thing is, is that I believe that he was so blinded by his passion that. Um, he honestly believed that they were just going to use it as a sign of what we could do and not immediately use it the next day. <laughs> I'm going to cut they, they, really, they really fucked him up with that because they were like, cool, Ew. you did it. Yeah. We'll take that. Oh, <laughs> Harry, Harry Truman's a piece of shit. Then they ignored him. And then he was like, stop being a pussy. Yeah. Yeah, we're America. Get that pussy out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's like, like no, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. don't want to hear it. Yeah. Like, that's fucked up. Never let that pussy in my office again. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic masculinity in that <laughs> moment. <laughs> Well, it's what Einstein said in the movie, though. They use you and throw you away. Of course. And, they and, use and, you and, and they throw you away. And they, they foreshadowed that in the entire movie. They show you in the movie. I actually laughed out loud the oh, one he, part where, where someone got in a car and the car pulls away. And, <laughs> and I Einstein's thought, just walking down the hill. I was like, what the fuck? I said, <laughs> It was funny in the movie. You just there. And he's like, you know, they are going to make you an evil person. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will look at the calculations, but it's not going to matter. This is yours. It was never mine. Yeah. <laughs> Einstein was comedic relief in the movie where <laughs> 200,000 uh, Japanese people died. Yeah. At least. <laughs> At least. At minimum. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. the other is just melted. And numbers are rising. You know what's really fucked up? What? When we were leaving the theater, you were long gone. I don't know how you got out of the theater oh, so fast. Yeah. Oh, but, um, mastered it by now. We're walking out, and there was, like, one guy in the front row of the theater, like, sitting, and Abby makes a joke and just goes, like, oh, this guy's melted into his seat. Mm -hmm. Like, two seats away from that guy. Was a family of just like three Asian people that had not moved yet. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, ooh. <laughs> they were just staring at the screen in horror. <laughs> <laughs> fucking PTSD oh, right there. They just, they just saw how Grandpa. Died. Grandpa I think, Shinto. Fucking. I think exploded. that movie. <laughs> Shohei. I think that movie's a masterpiece. That's probably was, one of the first movies I'd perfect. watch again. It was perfect. The first movie, you watched. <laughs> like in the while still in theaters, because do you remember when um, Interstellar came out? Ugh. They actually released a ticket to where you can watch it unlimited amounts. Leandro, that was the first time they ever did that. Is Oppenheimer, Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. <laughs> you got to throw in the Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby, great movie, love that and movie. Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style, the only <laughs> movies he's ever rewatched in his life. Oh, and Cheech and Chong. <laughs> oh, the whole, the that whole, so the whole. Uh, that almost makes too much franchise. Sense. The franchise. Yeah, but. <sighs> Women. Am I right, folks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? She tried to make the whole movie about herself by killing herself. She almost ruined... Who, she flip, almost had... Flip, the, the, the fucking Nazis almost won because Lawrence Pugh wanted to kill herself. In well, and now you're saying Lawrence Pugh. I did on purpose. Well, they don't <laughs> they what claim... what it is, Jack. It's comedic. Don't they claim that they think that it was the, uh, the government who killed her ass? Oh, you think so? To th So that he wasn't messing around with her? Because yeah, she was a known communist. Oh, because she didn't sign the suicide note. Uh, I didn't catch that, but yeah, that's a good point. Mm. I don't, I don't know what would make you sign a suicide note, though. Oh, uh, you know what? Like the, the <laughs> do you think you would <laughs> on a suicide note? Do you think you, you would sign? rewrite your signature if it, you didn't absolutely nail it? <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I got to read. Why, why <laughs> don't I, I put a why don't I put a T, not a J? Fuck, I need to buy a fountain pen. It'd be way better. You wait two your, days. Your pen runs out of ink like <laughs> mid signature. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, <laughs> you can see the scribbles where you're like, shit, it's not <laughs> working. <laughs> Cut to driving to Staples and shit. That thing you rain. do when you get like a check at a restaurant where you like scribble to you see if it works. Back. <laughs> you put it on your. It goes from blacking to. to then you tear, you tear the page. You're like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta get another pa um, page. Most badass part of that movie, um, I think, was. <laughs> Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt in, in her deposition. 16, 17, Ooh. actually 18, because you're not asking the question right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She I'm was not a, a fan of the guy. way that you like answer the word of the question. Yeah, they she was really, right uh, or die. Because I was looking at real life pictures of these people, so they all. They nailed up. it. Yeah, they did. With Oppenheimer, they did. With uh, Emily Blunt's character, Oppie's wife. They had to really like yeah, hammer down a little really bit. They really made her uglier than she should be. She's very attractive. The real She's wife? She's on my list. I like, I'm a big Emily Blunt guy. I'd have to Google One of my her, three favorite her. Blunts. Keith, Emily, and Wax, and James. <laughs> Wax Blunt. <laughs> I am beautiful. Isn't there a James Blunt? <laughs> What's her name? In a fucking way, you just did that. What's her name? <laughs> Emily. Um, oh, yeah. Who the fuck is James Blunt? That's where the... Uh, we should end the episode on that. that was Who the fuck no. is James Blunt? Ja You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh. It's true. What was <laughs> hey, didn't he have, like, one other song? <laughs> Goodbye, my love. That's the one, yeah. Should've Goodbye, played. my that friend. Dude, if I was scoring the movie... I have yeah. been as, soon as, as soon as the nuke drops, as soon as Josh Beck turns... <laughs> Goodbye, they, my love. You just hear, Goodbye, my love. 
the bomb, do you, my friend. Why do you think they didn't show the the bomb dropping on Hiroshima or Nagasaki? Because it's like an unnecessary that, part of the story. That would have yeah. been a cr- think crazy was, scene, though. I, I, like you know what happened. That you don't have to see it happen. It, though, I, bro, that, that just shit. to go into skeletons. When, cut, well, cut to them in the plane. That that was also a good scene too. When he was like like the little rally at the, after they dropped the bomb. Great. Bro, and, that would uh, be insane. They showed like of the, the, the girls like skin flapping yeah. off and then stepping onto the the ro- the roasted corpse. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, practical effect. It, that definitely wasn't that CGI. Movie, that movie fucking crap. It was so good. Fox, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he was a whore. Dude, he. You know what they left out of the movie? He was fucking one of his, uh, one of the scientists' wives at Los Alamos. Yeah, I saw. I'm that not too. surprised about that. Uh, but I think it's. I found out that he died from throat cancer. But I think well, it's, he was dude, sucking dick. <laughs> sucking hoon. The whole pussy. Movie. <laughs> I, I I think it was because um. They they saw him as this messiah figure, so he could use his power. Really, to, they do you know, talk about it in the movie, like he was god of the town. He, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was the law. He was all the mayor, all that shit. But on top of oh, it, he was like the authority. This, that movie was so fucking uh, how perfect. What perfect. Do you think it a was a perfect three hour movie? I would that, say that perfectly scene, paced. The, the scene where um, what's his face Strauss realizes that like he's getting fucked over. That he's getting fucked over was just. Mm-hmm. So and when great. he opens the blinds and he sees all the reporters to like denote that mm. you've obviously lost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I was going to say is uh, <laughs> Bitch ass with Oppie, do you think it was probably fun in the town for the people who were like, because I've read stories that there was just high school girls that were just like pressing a button like all day. Like when a sound rang, they would press it. Like people had really menial tasks. So And at night, oh, did you I heard the, they partied like fucking nuts. Did you see at the Alamo? At Los Alamos. Did you? Oh, the, did you? I read something about how like there were so there was like thousands of people there that didn't. Thousand people were involved in the Manhattan project. No, I'm saying project. There, there were thousands of people that didn't have any idea why they were even there. Correct. There were. They, I read something about one. They hired one like nurse or something, and all she was told to do was like stand up and hold like a box. Right. And she didn't know why she was doing that. She was like a laundry person holding up a box in a laundry room, and she didn't know why that was happening, but. It, was, it turned out she was holding up that box because that box detected the radiation that was like coming off of the clothes. I heard about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's all she had to. But do. she, no one ever told her that's why she was holding this box. Is she still alive though? It was 1943, dude. What the <laughs> fuck do you? think? I mean, that's not out of the question. Uh, how many years was that? What? How many years was that ago? Eighty years. Ah, oh, fuck. So she, she might be. There's in very theory, she chance. could be alive, but if the radiation hit her the right way. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> she only made it to nineteen. Did she live? Yeah. Did, <laughs> did she? Uh, Dude, live a full life. Must have been insane. Yeah, they, after they dropped the H atom bomb. Do you think there was anyone in the party who was like a little bit of a Debbie Downer? Like, oh, how many did we kill? It's like shut up. Bro. Oh, we're gonna keep partying. Oh yeah, despite like two hundred thousand dead. We're going crazy. I mean, those are the people who are crying. Right? You know, my neighbor was Japanese. He was a good man. Excitement. And then the kids. Remember, they said in the first year it was like eighty people, but like uh, in the second year it was like eighty every month or yeah. some shit. I didn't really realize how's there that many people. Eight fucking, a year and then eight every month. Eighty a y- the first year. But I didn't think that was that many. Yeah, but then that's what they were saying. The first year wasn't that. Like prolific. the radiation hit like way later than. No, no what are you saying? No, I'm saying. The project oh. took three years. Fucking at Los Alamos. Los Alamos was three years. The first year, only eighty people were born. But the second year, every month, eighty people. I didn't think were that was born. that crazy. I, I think, think that's. A I lot. think that had more to do with you how many people 12 were twelve times more. I, th- I yeah, it's a lot. I thought that was like something to do with how many more people were brought into the project. No, I think they were having kids than originally. Yeah, that's what I think. They, sh- it as. they like showed the a lot project of just grew. Yeah. No, I think they were showing hella kids as they were saying that there was a lot of Get kids that. running around. But we're saying that the more people came into the project... Oh, oh, oh therefore, more kids will yeah. be born. Oh, okay, maybe. There was 12 times more people. I think they were just so Oppenheimer. More. So Oppenheimer. 10 out of 10. Throws down. 11 That's out our, of 10. Certified fresh. We are a good movie reviewer. We are. So what would our rating scale be? Uh, how many brothers? What? Yeah, out of three brothers. Siamese. Yeah, well, yeah right. A Siamese rating, which is each perf- of, each one of us are thirty three percent of the a perfectly total joint movie. Thirty three point three percent. So you have your score out of ten is actually one out of thirty three point three percent. So is yours, and so is mine, and then we add it up to All the right, overall one hundred. All right. So my score ten. How about yours? What? Ten percent. Ten of the thirty three. What's yours? We'll average it out. No, it's not averaged out. You add to mine, I add to his, and then that's the total of, out of 100. So go. I so don't think you understand. Points. So you're saying that movie's only like a 3 out of 10 for you? No. I just... I'll I think go. none of 10%. 33.33 was my score. 
Okay, mine is 30%. 33.33. So it got a 97. That's a pretty good fucking score. It was, I mean, they, yeah, some, Laura, uh, some douchebag ruined the rating. What's her face could have had uh, better titties? <laughs> that, that's fatter <laughs> ass. Bigger titties, fatter God, ass. God damn, Lawrence That's Pugh. worth 3%. Your titties, fatter ass, and more fucking. If and Lawrence, that movie would have been a 10 out of If 10. Lawrence Pugh was Kim Kardashian, you'd have a perfect score. Good night and good luck. <laughs>